They're 42 gram shakes. Bruh, bruh. Ready to drink protein shakes. The good, the bad, which ones have high levels of lead and which ones don't. Jocko Milk has been one that you guys wanted me to review for a long time. Everything actually looked okay. There's no grams of added sugars. They use Reb M, which is a Steviol blend, monk fruit extract, and they do have high oleic sunflower oil. So that's a seed oil and I'm not too big on that. This one got dinged by the consumer reports for high levels of lead. This doesn't get the Gabby approved stamp. What does get one of my approved stamps are the slate 20 grams. They're 40 Two gram shakes. Bruh, bruh. I know have sucralose in them, and we know from a 2022 study they follow people for eight years with normal ingestion amounts of sucralose. They had more heart attacks and lack of oxygen to the brain, but also sucralose in a 2025 study showed it increased your hunger cravings by 17%. Now their 20 gram doesn't have anything in it. It's great. It's sucralose free, erythritol free, no carrageenan, keto friendly, gluten free. 20 grams of protein. It's sweetened only with stevia, kind of like my glow protein powder is only sweetened with stevia and has none of that crap in it. This is one of my go tos if I'm not using my glow protein powder. Premier. They have so many terrible things in here from start to finish. Hyalic sunflower oil, gums, which is not great for the digestive system. Sucralose, acid sulfate, potassium, another artificial sweetener. This is a no-go for me. The Owen, this passed the Consumer Reports test. This was a green light for one serving a day for heavy metals, which is absolutely fantastic. They do have some gums in here, but they have monk fruit. They have an emulsifier, which is sunflower lecithin, and they've got a greens blend. It's got spinach, kale, and broccoli. I would say make your choice if you're okay with having the gums in it, but again, you can always grab my glow protein powder. We're third party tested. We always have been. We're well within safe levels of heavy metals. And on top of that, we even passed Prop 65 in California. So we're below those levels, which are the strictest in the industry. Put in the comments below what your favorite RTD is.